So, you've painted some awesome textures, but how do you get them out of Mari? In this video, we're going to discuss exporting. Let's head over to the channel palette now. From here, all you have to do is right-click a channel and head down to Export Manager. The Export Manager is a handy new tool that lets you set up batch exports all at once. When you click that button, you can see a table of all your scenes channels. There are tick boxes next to the names to enable or disable them when exporting. Next to that, we see the size. By default, it is set to the same as the source, mine being 4K at the moment. If you double click that, you get a drop down list that helps you change it. For example, if you wanted to do a quick export of some 1K maps for testing. After that, we have color space and image depth, which are both set to read the channel settings, but again, you can overwrite it. Next, we have the file name. The default has this weird looking string that includes some dollar signs. These will be replaced at export. So in this example, dollar channel will be replaced with base color and dollar udim will be the udim number of the patch. This is a good naming convention for renderers to read, but if you would like to change it, you can double click it to edit it. If you hover the mouse over the box, it will give you some other variables you can use besides the channel name and udim number if there's another variable you'd like to use instead. Also, if you want to change the file format, you can just change the extension at the end here. For example, it's currently set to EXR, but depending on your pipeline, you might want to change it to a .tiff. At the bottom, you can add another level of overrides if you want to quickly change global settings for the textures, saving you changing one column at a time. However, they will be reset on every export. The export settings above will be remembered upon export, so if you want to change the export column info for multiple channels at once, you can use Shift Select to select as many or as few as you want, and then right click and go down to the bottom to change the current setting for all that are selected. Hitting export will start the writing process. You can also write out a selection of channels quickly by right clicking and hitting export selected. If you have a lot going on in your scene, then this can take a while. So it's time to put the kettle on. So that was a rundown of exporting textures in Mari, which means we've come near to the end of our fundamentals of using Mari 4.5. The next few videos are a look at a few extra features and tools that I think are useful and can help speed up your workflow. So thanks for watching and I'll see you there.